So what a thrilling couple of quarterfinals we've seen. And will we see another one here? New Zealand to play Canada. Canada. Wate will be in charge of this one. Who's going to be in after this one? Canada or New Zealand? With the ball is Nathan Hirayama. Third quarter final, Singapore 2017. Canada in the red, New Zealand in their traditional all black sevens colours. And the first look at this game of Joe Robobo. He's been a bit of a sensation, but the Canada defence has come across and claimed him. And down goes Matt Mullins. Canada now to bring the ball out of their own red zone with the red shirts. Hirayama. Let's see how Robobo is in defence. That's a pretty good chase and tackle by him. He hit Mullins hard. Harry Jones is number 11 for Canada. And there is Moonlight, the, the veteran, the record holder for Canada for most tournaments. No collision. Fuller foul is number three. Down he goes, slow to get up. Jones, Hirayama, full of foul, Douglas, out wide to Moonlight, he likes to go down the tram tracks, but he's pulled back by one of the New Zealand players, it's a big frame to pull back, but look at this, straight through the middle by Mullins, very physical contest, full of foul, a big delay, runs into the New Zealand captain, DJ Forbes. <laughs> Penalty, Lucas Hammond for Canada is their number seven. He'll have it. Yeah, good hold in position by this Canadian team. They slow the play down. Had all the positions so far for the start of this first half, two minutes. Bit of space on the left-hand side if they can manipulate it here. Playmaker swings it to the left. Hammond caught by Forbes. Goal line top right. Douglas. Hideyama. Dancing feet. Game on! Canada says we're here to play. They're just rushing up in defence here in front of their own line. And you can't do that against a good stepper such as Nathan Hideyama because he will kill you. Sam Dixon challenges at the breakdown. They lose it, and see there, Hideyama is so smart, he realizes Sam Dixon is caught up in the whitewash back at that ruck. See him there, Sammy Dixon challenges, so it's a one-on-one. -on -one. He sees his Joe Revolver, does them easily, does Nate Hideyama. Good start. Conversion attempt by Hideyama. No problem to the, one of the best kickers on the tour in the last couple of years. And there's a, an early score against some of the predictions. 7 0 Canada leads, but remember from the first two quarterfinals, upsets. Will this one go against some of the form which says New Zealand should go through, but Canada starting well and they kick back to New Zealand here. Now, New Zealand has a little spark in their team, and there he is, Kuroi, cleared away now by Troel Joyce, and now Regan Ware! Moonlight and Ware, and New Zealand bring it back to one try each. Regan Ware. Well, this kid is feeling the flow at the moment, Regan Ware. His fourth try this weekend, the late cut with Sione Molia. They are starting to develop a nice combination at one and two. Regan uses this nice right foot step that he has, goes on the angle, does it easily. This is the 18 year old, youngest man of the tournament. Levels it up. Seven all. Looks like whatever the result, it's going to be another thriller. New Zealand and Canada. The try score here for New Zealand, Regan Ware. A conversion from Philomone Kuroi.
He kicks long. Jones, Hammond, the two number sevens. Dixon is the tackler for New Zealand. Rides him down. Douglas gets it away for Matt Mullins. Working hard, the Canadians. Hideyama. Beautiful break through the middle here by Douglas. Chased by Karoy. And that's a wonderful piece of defence by Karoy. But look at the way Moonlight is there. Hiriyama. That is brilliant, brilliant play by Canada. They press the fast forward button. Well, support play. Here's the initial break, break by Douglas, but watch Putamoni Kuroi, the sweeper, gives him the angle and has great makeup speed. Full stretch, and he nearly pulls it off. He comes in with another big hit on a bigger man, but Johnny Moonlight pops it out to Nate Hiriyama, who is a master of support play. And the kick is on its way from Hiriyama. It's a wide out angle, so it doesn't go over, but he's playing a big role in the game so far, isn't he? Keith, over all these years in the Sevens Series circuit, Canada always match up well against New Zealand for some reason or another. They always troubled the men in black, and Nate Hiriyama continues to extend his lead as an all time point scorer for Canada. Beat Russia in Hong Kong yesterday, but lost to Fiji. And they got well thumped by Fiji. They were down 35 nil at one stage and scored the late try for a 35 7 score line. But here they go, leading New Zealand 12 to 7, coming towards the last seconds of day one and continue to attack with Fuller Fowl leading the charge. And there's another restless slam by Karoy, cleared away by Mullins through the hands of Douglas. And they're spinning it wide to the man of the hour towards Hiriyama. Here is Harry Jones. Hiriyama. He's done it again! Hammond! What? Five metres out. Hiriyama. They continue to attack and they get reward. Rich reward. Full of foul. Well, he's been their hardest working forward. Mike Full of foul. Nate Hiriyama again amongst the throwing the 50-50 ball. Luckily it bounces up for Lucas Hammond. Good clean out by the captain, John Moonlight. All they needed to do was get it across to Mike Fuller foul. There was numbers to burn, and he gets that third. Fuller foul is no new kit. His 33rd stamp in the passport. Hiriyama to perhaps complete the first half effort in beautiful style and Canada are in the lead at the break over New Zealand by 19 to 7. But they've had to make too many tackles. Second half begins Canada versus New Zealand a Singapore 2017 quarterfinals game and Sam Dixon he's become a bit of a specialist at this big uh, clearance and a quick throw in and they've swung the ball across to Joe Ravovo who was out of the action for most of the first half after just a couple of very early touches but he gets one there and now here is captain DJ Forbes and now Dixon New Zealand Six. looking measured and controlled here Com out comes from Joas to Karoy they're going to try and use his jinking runs gets it away from a standing start but very elusive and makes the space and that is a great start for New Zealand trial Joas has scored it this kid in jersey number eight for New Zealand continues to amaze me Keith he was outstanding in defense Vitamoni Kaloi has a player coming around so the defense has to go his footwork is just supreme. Look at the way he dazzles Harry Jones and the vision to give it to Trail Joaz and the fancy finish. New Zealand right back in it. Conversion is on its way and it's 
over from Karoy. So that's closed the gap up 19 to 14. Canada's still lead. I just love the way that these young kids on the seven series just make it look so easy. It's freakish. You've got to say to yourself for, with uh, Karoy, he's 18, that he was playing the stuff in the playground uh, at his secondary school just I was going to say, he was at school please, last year, please. so you're probably right, Ken. Yeah. Please. <laughs> There's a bit of wrestling in there. Referee is Polo Duarte of Portugal. Canada is so dominant in the first half. Now they get it out to the big thunderer. Moonlight. Hammond. Douglas. Isaac Kay. Oh, what a tackle on him from Sam Dixon. Oh, he stays tackled. Hammond. Space, though, for Douglas. And he can go. Has he run away from the support? Another great defensive tackle coming in from Peroy. Full of foul. Hammond. Two to the left of Hammond when he passes. Hirayama. Moonlight is all over the park here at the attacking end. And with his heels against the goal lines, Hirayama. And that's another nugget. He's got to watch he doesn't touch that white paint because that's no try there. But he puts it down. Try number four for Canada. Well, great recognition where the space was by this Canadian team all the way back in their own 10 metre line. This is the back end of a Jodo Bobo. Very tight in defence. Turns his back on Nate Hidayama. He just can't do that. He's done you twice already. And he does it for a third time. Sonny Molia unlucky not to get that turnover. The same. Yama back turned on defense and a treble. See him look down at the line. Yes, he was uh, aware sure that it was seven. coming into play. Turn on. Let's go, Canada. A bit of an injury yeah. pause there. Time, on. Time is back on. They have clocks running for the number of seconds it takes to uh, kick the goal after the try is scored. Yeah. All due, all, all designed to make the game go quicker. So a couple of bounces and Hirayama will, well, it's straight shooting, isn't it? And his total of points goes to 21 on his own in the 26 to 14 lead for Canada over New Zealand. We'll kick off all important here, Sam Dixon. He's been put in the yellow card chair for some reason. No, I think it's a tip down tackle. Here he is, he lowers him and probably gets him just past 90. That'll be the reason why. To see here, that's okay. That little tip right at the end is the reason why he sits down for two. So, New Zealand in a little bit of bother. You be the judge. At home, playing Canada rampant. In the air, in the air. DJ Forbes has got to pass it across the front of the referee. Now New Zealand with six on the park. And that one's lost forward. Advantage will apply, but the game will roar on. No, the referee's okay. coming back for the scrum. Well, Canada won't mind this coming back because it's going to eat time out of the clock for them. So they're, no, they're not, no, no hurry. They're not chasing the game. New Zealand need two converted tries to take the lead. Number three substitution. Number three. So Andrew Newstub was in that previous move. He's come off the suspension. See number 13 coming on. That's Lewis Orman. There he is. He was the... Uh, extra player from the New Zealand squad of 12 who wasn't going to take any part in the tournament but injuries mean he's come into the tournament and now he's on the field so 209 to play Canada in control here are we heading for the third upset here in the quarterfinals in Singapore 2017 let's look Harry Jones good tackle on him by Orman Canada bringing it forward that's Isaac Kay with the headband. Now, Regan Ware, he's a great sidestepper. That's the right foot, sidestep one, two. Then one off the left, up to halfway. Moonlight has driven away. Now, where has it gone from Molia? Where will it go from him as he takes it down? Forbes. 
There Nine. is Andrew Newstub. And number 10 rips it away. Regan Ware doing good work running and in the physical stuff. And the physical stuff down with a... Oh, oh, a little... Looked like a bit of a punch went in there, but we won't worry about that. No one else seems to be. So here is Regan Ware going back to try to get momentum going forward. Forbes, all his life in the rugby field, has been going forward. Penalty for Canada. You're yeah, very lucky there, Johnny Moonlight. I don't think he released the player there. New Zealand been penalised a lot for the exact same ruling, but good work by the captain for Canada. Dominating, as you see, the pass is completed. And I think this is going to be another one, Keith. Canada look like they're going to go through to the cup semi final. Singapore continues to amaze. Three penalties conceded by New Zealand. It's 21 points to Hirayama, plus the try by Fula Foul, 26 to 14. New Zealand sub two more players off. Karoy is one of them. There he is down in the foreground. Hammond throws. Taken by Moonlight. There is Fuller Foul. These guys have given their all. Harry Jones. Great board off the feet, I think. Oh, and that was so close to another one. We're going to come back and look here, but this is a good win for this Canadian outfit. What an outstanding quarter final for them dominating position we're just going to have a little look here well he's looking to see if a try was scored by canada referee is polo duarte well reagan where was the one getting back for new zealand i thought he was a lot of time he was off the leg so that's still play on mike full of our tries but beats everyone that's a beautiful tackle by boating waka Jones sets it up, comes off the two Canadian legs. So that's play on. Now, Regan, where's the first one to get that? Five mile. And then this is over the dead ball line anyway. Now, yeah, though, well, well and truly. It was kicked into in goal by Red, and then it was knocked backwards by Black in goal. So Red put it into in goal. So we'll have still a uh, drop out. Yes, the restart is at 22. Uh, no try, we'll have a dropout. It's going to be a dropout, so play will run on. Look how far wait, they've gone wait. past the end of the game. But it's not going to make any difference, is it? Because you no do the math. Away, okay? The gap is 12 points, and it's a famous victory coming for oh, yeah, not... Canada. Not by Locked by. out. There the hands raised. The Canadians have done it. Look at that. Breaking out the smile file is the team of Canada. They have scored the third upset of the three quarterfinals played so far with a 26-14 win over New Zealand. What a victory it's been. What a performance led by Nathan Nate Hirayama, but a great team effort by Canada.